The city of Patavium was an strategic trade area during Roman times, mainly due to its geographical centrality in the Veneto region and to the fluvial system that runs through their territory. Nowadays, some Roman remains are still preserved. The Roman bricks have been reused as a building material along the history of Padua, and in the north of the city it was located the Porter's Quarter. Padua is settled down on the Venetian plain, exactly on the Quaternary alluvial deposit of the Brenta and Bacchiliano rivers, where clayly soils rich on magnesium carbonates and iron rich clays are very abundant. Such geological setting has conditioned that most of the construction of the city were built in brick. The history of Padua is in the built heritage and the brick plays an outstanding role, shaping emblematic construction that have reached our days in more than quite good conservation state. The brick display a yellowish beige and reddish colors, depending on the clayly materials used and the fighting temperatures reach. The multi-analytical study performed points out that the yellowish bricks, mainly produced at Roman times, were made out of magnesium-rich calcareous clays and that were fired over 900 degrees. The high resistance over time that many of these bricks have displayed is mainly due to the development of high temperature mineral phases during the firing processes, such as correspond to a calcium aluminosilicate matrix that where very abundant magnesium rich calcium silicate crystals were nucleated. Both types of phases have provided important structural stability to the ceramic bodies. Roman production technologies might be largely inherited by the brick makers along the passing of time in the city. A lesser carbonate content on the starting mix of clays and the decrease of the fighting temperatures were the main technological modification, yielding color chains on the ceramic bodies from yellowish to reddish. New highly quality bricks from local clays that preserve the aesthetical values of that city could be produced. It should be highlighted that at Padova, the ancient bricks entail a heritage value for the cohesion and identity of the city and its citizens.